What's up everyone, Suraj here from BDNX. Apple known for innovation, but their latest move might just be their most groundbreaking yet. We are talking about Open ELM, an open source AI model that's shaking the foundations of AI industry. Is this the democratizing of AI we have all been waiting for? BDNX dives in to see what Open ELM means for you. But before we explore the open source revolution, a quick reminder. BTNX has an exclusive workshop on mastering AI tools for busy professionals. The link is down in the description below. 9 rupees. 9 rupees cannot even buy you this packet of biscuit. But what if I tell you that 9 rupees can help you save your job? What if I tell you that 9 rupees can 3x your salary? Yes, this is possible because I am going to conduct a workshop at just rupees 9 on ChatGPT and other AI tools which is highly recommended for all working professionals out there. We will not only show you how to leverage Open ELM's potential, but also explore other cutting-edge AI tools to elevate your work. In an unexpected move from Apple, a company known for keeping its project under wrap, it has introduced its latest venture in AI, Open ELM. This new generative AI model represents a big change in Apple's approach, showing a new willingness to be open and work with others' AI development. Open ELM is not just notable for being open, but also for its technical achievements. It is reported to be 2.36% more accurate than its earlier model and it achieves this while using only half as many pre-training tokens. This boost in efficiency and accuracy indicates that Apple is making significant progress in AI, aiming to really make a mark on the industry. At its core, OpenELM is a state-of-the-art language model developed by Apple's team of researchers. It leverages a method called layer-wise scaling, which optimizes how parameters are used across the model's architecture, allowing for more efficient data processing and improved accuracy. This is a big change from older models that spreads their settings evenly across all sections, which makes OpenELM smarter and flexible. The model has been trained using a wide range of public sources like text from GitHub, Wikipedia, Stack Exchange and others totaling billions of data points. Thanks to this thorough training, this model can understand and create human-level text based on the input it gets. It also comes with a complete set of tools and frameworks for further training and testing, which makes it very useful for developers and researchers. Now, what makes this model stand out is that Apple has chosen to make it an open source framework that you can use for both training and elevating the model. Usually companies just give out the model's weight and the codes needed to run them. OpenELM goes further by including training logs, several checkpoints and detailed setup for pre-training. This openness lets users really see and copy how model has been trained, which helps everyone to do more open and shared research. When it comes to training the model, OpenELM uses some smart strategies to make the most out of the computer power it has. For example, even though it uses fewer pre-training tokens than other models like MMO, it still manages to be more accurate. It does this by using clever methods such as RMS norms for keeping things balanced and grouped query attention which both improve how the computing works and boost the model's performance. In benchmark tests, OpenELM has shown that it's more accurate than other language models. For instance, it's 2.36% more accurate than MMO even though it uses half the pre-training tokens. This success is due to a special technique called layer-wise scaling, which adjusts the settings in each layer of the model to improve its performance. The effectiveness of the model is also clear in various standards, zero-shot and few-shot tasks, where OpenELM consistently does better than other models. These tasks check how well the model can understand and respond to new situations it hasn't been especially trained for, which is really important for how it's used in the real world. Understanding how well AI models like this work in real world is critical, and that's why benchmarking is so important. Apple did a thorough performance analysis to see how it stack up against other top models. This kind of testing helps us to see how fast and accurate the model is and provides developers and researchers with important information to make the model even better. Apple has made OpenELM work well on both usual computer setups using CUDA on Linux and on Apple's own type of chips, showing that model can be used in different ways. 
tests have found this model is more accurate than similar models like MMO. But it's a bit slower because it uses complex methods like RMS norms to check its calculation. This balance between being right and being fast is important for jobs where you really need to trust the results more than you need quick answers. The model has been tried on various hardware setups to make sure it works well in different situations. For example, OpenELN's performance on Apple's M2 Max chip is a good example of how Apple makes sure its software works well with its latest technology. The use of Bfloat 16 precision and lazy evolution technique on this chip makes sure the system handles data efficiently, showing that Apple's hardware is well. OpenELM's design lets it manage its part very finely. Each part of the model can be adjusted separately, which makes the best use of the computing power available. This approach not only makes the model more accurate, but also lets it handle different kinds of AI tasks better. During tests, it was clear that this model's special use of RMS norms helps it be very accurate but also slows it down. Because of this, Apple's team is planning to make changes to speed it up without losing accuracy. They want to make the model faster so it can be useful for more kinds of jobs. OpenELM was put through its pieces in real-life settings, tackling everything from simple QA setups to more complex thinking and talking tasks. It wasn't just compared to other language models, but also checked to see how well it works for what typical Apple users need. Continued efforts to benchmark OpenELM where it excels and where it could be improved. Apple's open sharing of benchmarking results is really helpful for developers and researchers. It gives them the information they need to make the most of the model's strong points and fix its weaknesses. The detailed process of benchmarking which tested different setups and conditions has helped us understand how the model performs under different pressures and workloads. This information is especially important for those who want to use this model in critical settings where it needs to be both strong and reliable. So we can say that Apple's new AI model is a big advancement in the AI field, providing an innovative, efficient language model that is more accurate and flexible than many older models. By openly sharing its training and evolution methods, Apple is helping to make AI research more accessible to everyone. This can lead to more advancements in the field. So while OpenELM is already performing well and is very adaptable, the company is working to make it even faster, efficient for developers, researchers and businesses. The new model is a powerful tool for using AI on the devices that millions of people use every day. OpenELM marks a significant step towards a future where AI is not just for the privileged few, but for everyone. Join our AI tools and ChatGPT workshop and learn how to leverage OpenELM and other open source AI tools to supercharge your workflow. The workshop link is waiting for you in the description below. Sign up today and unlock the potential of open source AI. So what are you waiting for? Like this video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome AI content and leave a comment below telling me what excites you the most about open source AI. Remember, B10X is your one-stop shop for mastering AI. See you in the workshop.